holiday begins, happens to be my breakfast, and I intend enjoying it. Your father has a right to enjoy his eggs, Kim. But I'm sure he won't mind if we just quietly start clearing away some of these other things. I know the house is a bit hectic this morning, but Kim's gone through a lot of trouble to fix a special breakfast for Mr. Birdie, and I want to make sure everything's ready and waiting for him when he comes down. After all, he is a national figure, and I want to show these New York people we know how to treat a national figure here in Sweet Apple. I mean, it doesn't mean that much to me personally, but for Kim's sake, I... There you are. Hold that, dear. Did you enjoy it? Good. Now, if I can just hurry along. Doris, I am not budging from this spot until I get my coffee, smoke a cigarette, and read my paper. But I'm sorry, dear, I didn't have time to make up your coffee this morning. How about a nice, warm seven up? Woody Cox, here's your paper. I have you not mine, but it's kind of out of these stories about Tanya. Mrs. McAfee, Kim, Randolph, 
Is this the way you want 75 million Americans to see you? What are you talking about? The You're all going to be on television with Conrad. On television? That's right. I just got the word from New York. From Ed Sullivan himself. You mean we're going to be on the Sullivan Show? The Ed Sullivan Sullivan Show? They're going to cut in on Sweet Apple this Sunday night at 8.05, and you're all going to be on. That's why I beg you to put aside all penny differences. The American audience out there, you're an American dream come true. For the free world's sake, Mr. McAfee, don't destroy that dream. Me on the Ed Sullivan Show? <laughs> Ed Sullivan. <laughs> Me, Harry McAfee, appearing with 